Simply put, aortic stenosis is a hardening of the heart valve, a deadly condition it's brought on by any of three factors. In younger patients, it's usually a birth defect. It could also be the result of rheumatic fever. The most common cause is age. Especially as we age and that valve becomes calcified, it becomes harder and harder for that valve to open. And so the heart works harder and harder to pump that blood and eventually it just kind of gives out. A progressive disease, some don't notice it for years. Some of the symptoms that we'll see um, earliest would be shortness of breath, chest pain, and then when it gets extremely severe, a patient may start having dizziness or passing out. Once diagnosed, the survival rate is dismal. Within four years, it's less than 80%. And frankly, that's worse than most cancers. About 100,000 Americans are diagnosed with severe aortic stenosis each year, but one third are considered too high risk to undergo traditional surgery because of age or frail health. The traditional fix required open heart surgery. The oldest, sickest patients were not good candidates until a new procedure called TAVR was approved. It threads a catheter from the leg to the heart, then uses a balloon to push aside the disease valve and replace it with a new one. The shortness of breath and symptoms are relieved very quickly and their patients are really amazed at how much more activity they can do. Lee Memorial Health System was first in the state to offer this procedure outside of clinical trials, and it's helping patients breathe easier. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.